Right, hello everyone and uh, welcome to this uh, short overview of the Synthesis uh, PCM70 editor. Um, as you can see most of the stuff is laid out in front of you. Um, we've got a main panel up here which with some major uh, important stuff on it, so like the MIDI setup button. This is where you set up your MIDI input and output ports and your MIDI channels. We have a main help button here which gives you a general overview of what you're looking at. In addition, we have extra help buttons here. If you click on the little uh, question mark icons, you'll get extra help on that particular section and what it's all about. Just like that. Uh, we've got our main program change over here. So if we select program 0.1, uh, we can just do program changes from here. If we get out of sync on the um, hardware, so if you start loading patches manually, on the hardware if you want to get back into sync you can just hit this PCM70 to panel button here and resync the editor to whatever the hardware is doing um, we can we can just edit stuff directly from here like this or part of the modulation here like this you'll see that you've basically got basically you can select a number of sources, a number of destinations and then this just goes green if you're affecting the destination positively and red if you're modulating it negatively like that. Just a little visual representation there and in here we've got various things you can load the version 2 presets in so if you've got this panel is basically built and tested on the version 3 um, firmware that's in the PCM70 <clears throat> but a lot of people and me included like the version 2 presets that came with the version 2 firmware so you can get the best of both worlds basically if you, you've got all the version 3 presets in your program memories if you hit this button and then OK this it will load all the old version 2 presets into your registry memories so you can have the best of both worlds basically all the version 3 presets and all the version 3 version 2 presets as well I'm going to say cancel because I don't want that and if we want to save this even chorus to disk, we can just say save patch to disk, and call it what we want, and then just save it like that. Um, if you want to save, if you want to edit something, then save it into registry memory. You can select a particular registry memory here, then set save patch to reg, and it'll save it into that particular reg registry memory on the hardware. Uh, I'm going to push cancel because I don't want to overwrite anything at the moment. And then in the file browser, if you want to load something up, that's quite simple. Just go into wherever you've stored them. Got a few. There's the e-chorus and power flange. I'll just load up the power flange one. Yeah, and it's just a little um, warning there that um, you haven't saved it to the hardware, basically. It's just loaded into the editor and then sent to the edit buffer on the hardware. So you can muck around with this now if you want to actually save it in the PCM hardware you need to use the save patch to reach to do it and that's a basic overview of the standalone bit and we'll just now move on and have a quick look at the VST versions okay so uh, here we are in the door um, first thing we need to do is the editor needs its own uh, MIDI ports it doesn't share ports well so here in Cakewalk I'm just going to deselect those those particular MIDI in the MIDI input port that I'm using and the MIDI output port that I'm using here. Just deselect them, Chris. OK. It'll be slightly do than other doors, but I'm sure you'll know how to do that. Then if we insert soft synth, if we insert the PCM editor like this. Wait for it. eventually here we go here we go okay so if we go in the MIDI setup and we select DIN 8 and DIN 8 which is the ones that I'm using then we click OK and then it says open the ports open OK no error messages and the ports open fine okay so this should now be working so if I can just switch uh, patches like that normally um, da -da. switch things around like that but really you can do that in the standalone can't you so I mean the whole point of uh, using the VST is the fact we can automate things so if we I just move that to the right if we just bring this down open up my automation lanes 
select PCM editor, choose parameter. Okay, let's um, let's let's automate the patch zero scale for now. That'll do. Okay, like that. And then if we go down here, if we just draw draw some automation onto here, like this quickly, and then one at the end just to go up to the bottom like that. And now if we hit the play button, put that there you'll see that we can automate the scaling like that. And the PCM hardware goes in sympathy, in synchronization with it. And there we go, and that's the whole point of having the VST plugin basically, or the component plugin or whatever you want to do. Um, so this comes with a standalone uh, VST and audio components, um, PC and Mac compatible. Thanks very much for watching.